testing, testing. This around my normally speaker for the afternoon, hopefully. Nice and good, nice and good. Perfect.
substitute for after right guard number nine, proudly sponsored by Bumblebee Skipping, Brilliant Gentle. Number 14, proudly sponsored by Summer Art, Mia Goldie. Number 26. A familiar venue for familiar teams. Welcome to Leichhardt Oval, the scene of last year's Sapphire Cup final, which took place between our two teams today, back in September last year. Our hosts are up here well. They'll look to channel those happy memories into three points, while Northern Tigers will hope to overturn the result and get their second win in as many games. It's Will Constantinidis on commentary for you, and we can't wait to bring you up here, Leichhardt, against the Northern Tigers right here from Leichhardt Oval. Immediately, Apia right on the attack will try and get to the team news in just a moment as the Tigers immediately build out from the back through Amy Hall. We'll get to the team news starting first with Apia. They've turned around their start, which was a bit of a slump by their standards. They lost their first two games, two wins and a draw in their last three. Have had their season trending in the right direction. They'll take comfort knowing they didn't lose all season to their opponents. They also know that whilst it may be early in the season that any slip-ups means their title rivals gain advantage at the top. No changes to the RP11 that won against Institute last week for Brad Attard. In goal is number one, Sophie Magus. Number three, Tanya Barazio. Number five, Teal Kilbride. Number six, Mona Walker, who charges through on the ball here in the cropped sleeves. Number 11, their top goal scorer, Ash Cross. Number 16, Estelle Fragale. Number 17, Angelique Christodoulou, number 19, Imogen Lane, number 21, Caitlin Kimparazov, and number 24, the captain, Charlotte Young. As Pepino looks to whip this one in towards Cross, Hall punches away. And the Tigers can play out through Makunja, drifting inwards. Had ideas of finding Beth Bernardi, cut out by Mona Walker, the former Tiger. Scuffed shot, and that'll give us a bit of a break to talk about the Northern Tigers who got off the mark last week with a big win against the Emerging Jets. That ended a four-game winless start to the season. And whilst the points haven't been there, they've been relatively close even in their losses. No side has kept them scoreless this season. And they face an Apia side that are still gelling with their new defence at the back. On the other end here is Cross, trying to get onto her favourite right foot. But it is an Apia back four that appears to be gelling with their new signings. Just the one clean sheet in their first five games, and that'll give the Tigers confidence that they can score, potentially go on and win this one right here today. No changes for Chris Wood from the side that beat the Emerging Jets 5-0 last week, except for the bench where they welcomed back Saffron Grass and Jody Drever from Australian schoolgirls' representative duties. As for the rest of the starting 11, it's number 39 in goal, Amy Hall. As we stay with the Tigers for the time being, Mira Makunja looking for Nikola Dominikovic. Number three is Ella Gutorna. Number four, Isabella Keach. Number five, Jesse Wapuri. Number eight, Jade Makatamni. Number 11, Lily McMahon, the captain. Number 13, Amira Makunja. Number 14, Beth Bernardi. Number 15, Abby Middleton. Number 16, Olivia Cartwright. Number 18, rounding out the 11, is Nikola Dominikovic, who we just saw a moment ago. Papi will be certainly wary of conceding early. The start of the season showed as much when they conceded in the opening minutes of Manly United right here at Leichhardt Oval. So here come the Tigers through Abby Middleton going wide. Pepino put on enough pressure and has the ball back again. Was looking for Kiparazov down the line. Intercepted by Beth Bernardi and foul is given away as Brad Attard is certainly not happy with how his side have started. Already quite vocal on the touchline. That's if you've tuned in to RPA games this season, you might have caught that. New fresh faces in both boxes this season. Brad Attard replacing Spencer Pryor. Chris Wood replacing Jake Stevenson. So Parazov goes back to take the throw. There's two former Tigers players in action for up here today. We saw Mona Walker just a moment ago. Teal Kilbride is also at the heart of the defence alongside Charlotte Young as we stay with play for now. Here's Lane. 
The perfect finish and the perfect start for Apia. Imogen Lane gets her first goal for a new club. Plenty of goals last season for Hills in League One. And that's exactly what Brad Attard and Apia Leichhardt would have wanted. Imogen Lane, who's starting just her second game of the season. Not wasted all that much time in making an impact, picking up her first goal. And that's exactly what Apia would have wanted. You just see it fell to Imogen Lane, a ball right across the defence, and once she got it onto her right foot, had all the time to compose herself and buried it into the back of the net. And so Apia lead right here at Leichhardt Oval, looking for their second home win. Here goes Lane. Lost out and the Tigers try and come the other way with it. Katorna dropping it short. The Tigers combining around the edge of the area. Makunja beats Walker in a foot race to get to it. Reverse pass. Well worked here. And there's Mona Walker. We'll see her cover plenty of blades of grass. The former Tigers midfielder. Pino gets around Bernardi. Looking centrally for Cross, but instead it's Olivia Cartwright who takes it the other way. Makunja, body faint to create a bit of space, but just ran out of room along the sideline. Here is Teal Kilbride. Combining with Mona Walker. Goes down, clean challenge by Beth Bernardi. No sympathy shown between the former teammates as Dominikovic tries to chase down Apia playing out from the back. Apia really favouring this left side for the time being. It's been where most of the game has been taking place for both teams, really. As now they try and switch out. Here is Chris Adulu. Barazio. Chris Adulu again. That pass is a bit loose. Straight onto the feet of Makunja. Pino has a head up looking for Cross. And there's that switch of play again. Now to Imogen Lane. This time a bit deeper. Crossfield pass intended for her opposing winger, Pepino. Clean challenge by Mona Walker. Certainly see the intention from up here is to try and switch the play from left to right. For now, Fragale is forced to go down the same side, this time as a head up, and spots Christodoulou. Tigers' defense is structured well, though. Last season, Tigers, their defense was their strength. Conceded just the 29 goals in the 26 regular season games they play. That was fourth best in the competition. This season it's been a bit more shaky at the back. Already just 12, already rather, 12 goals conceded in their opening five games. Not exactly the same level of strength they had last season, but you can see, be careful not to concede here as Crofts goes around, has to do the rest, and you're always going to back her from there, Ash Crofts. Composure from the league's leading goal scorer from last season as she adds to her account for 2024. Four goals for her this season. Took it around Amy Hall with such composure and had the goal gaping and was never going to miss from there with her quality. And the commentators curse strikes as we're just talking about the strength of the Tigers' defence last season and how it could form a platform for them in this game as they've already conceded two in the opening ten minutes. Makunja looking to get one back quickly as she's been quite isolated out on that wing early, Amira Makunja. Even when she beats the likes of Caitlin Kaparazov, there's Mona Walker as she was to 
slide in and clean things up. Foul there and just could pose an opportunity. And so for Apia with their season being characterized by games that have mostly been slow starters for them, often finding themselves having to chase the game, this will certainly be a welcome change. Themselves 2 0 up at home. Hard to avoid conceding here as Jade McAtamney puts this one in right into the mixer and headed in on goal. Good save by Magus. Comes back in from McAtamney as it was Elegant Turner, I believe, getting up there in the mix. Looking for her second goal of the season. She scored, of course, back in round four. Part of their loss against the Institute. Not known for her goals is Ella Gatorna. No goals in the MPL last season. The only goal she scored was in the Sapphire Cup early rounds against Linfield. Already has one to her name for this season. Almost made it two. And Zapia will try and slow things down and compose themselves back into the rhythm that has seen them race out to this 2-0 lead. Pino tried to keep it in. Thought she might have done so, but the assistant on the near side better position than we were to see that one. So that's hard. Continuing to demand intensity from his troops. Not happy just being 2-0 up as again, up here. they've been in positions where might have leads or might be chasing the game and they'll be keen to have an intensity across 90 minutes this afternoon. This is Makunja, has been probably the most involved Tigers player early as scuff shot coming through from Dominikovic. Here is Kaparazov. Now for Pino. For options centrally, finds one in Fragale. Lovely switch by Estelle Fragale. Drilled pass along the ground to Tanya Barazio. Lane. Chance for her to go one on one. He's looking for the overlap, breaks down, but only lost it momentarily as Arpi have really had the lion's share of possession, as you would expect them to on their home deck. Pino tries the skill but runs into Makunja, falls to the benefit of Kaparazov. Nothing doing on the cross there as Isabella Keach switching out to Gatorna. First touch pass was intercepted and well read by Christodoulou. And Wapuri comes in to clean things up. Jesse Wapuri, who might be a bit familiar with this neck of the woods. Whilst it is her third season at the Northern Tigers, she spent time in the NRL women's competition with the West Tigers. Of course, up here playing at the home of Tigers is his, but Kudja has stayed on side. And that's a bit more concrete from the Northern Tigers. That'll be some signs for positivity as they look to create more meaningful chances in search of running down this lead. They haven't been without possession in the attacking half, but it's been about making it count as if you'd have to pick one player who is going to go on and make the difference, it looks like Amira Makunja right in this game. Makunja, who has come across from the northern New South Wales NPL where she spent time with New Lambton. <coughs> Already three goals in five games. A great way to announce yourself as a new signing.
Sheffield Bride is well placed to intercept. Nice improvisation in the middle by Mona Walker as a bit of space here for Pepino. Doesn't see many maroon shirts around her and decides to go around Abby Middleton, but again, plenty of wing play. Both sides wasting no time shifting it wide, opting for that over trying to play through the middle of the park. And there's plenty of space out on the wings on this slightly bigger Leichhardt oval pitch. Bernardi drops it short as Middleton goes for distance on the clearance. Good hold up play by Dominikovic as Kaman tried to turn, but right now it's Apia who are winning most of these defensive duels. Kaparazov off. He's had a hands full already with the Tigers opting to prefer this right wing side of the pitch. Have to be careful, she doesn't get caught in possession. Just good skill by Pepino. Cross tried to combine with her. Still with Apia. Here's Cross. Winds up. As that was seen all the way by Amy Hall. Tigers caught again. Regalo. Christodoulou. Just on Angelique Christodoulou, she's stepped up into midfield recently in these last couple of games for Apia. Started the season as a defender. Playing as a centre-back alongside Charlotte Young, but the reintroduction of Teal Kilbride, the new signing, has allowed her to be pushed further forward as it really speaks to the versatility of Angelique Christodoulou player that's comfortable playing as a center back, right back, left back, defensive midfielder or as a central midfielder. And that's the value that Arpia got when they signed her from Sydney Olympic in the off season. Opportunity now from the corner. And it comes, cleared away the first attempt by Jane McAtamney. Lane will have another crack at it. This time it's Keach. will want this game to settle exactly as it is right now. Composed possession in the attacking half. Try and limit the danger that they face from these potential Northern Tigers counter-attacks. Fagale did well under pressure. Wouldn't want to cough it up there as here is Christodoulou. Curling pass for Lane. Fakes the cross. Looking for Crofts, cries of handball. Were louder from the Apia bench than they were from the players on the pitch. Again, Ashcroft's the constant target in this Apia front three is. Certainly need to know where she is at all time. If she's already scored once this afternoon, the league leader in goals last season, the player of the season as well. Had a great start to 2024. Four goals in what will be six games after today. And maybe more if it continues as up here have done already. As Christodoulou was looking to get on the end of that cross pass. It's pinched away by Dominikovic. Has Makunja in support. And this could be something here for the Tigers. But it's the up here defensive numbers that prevail. Tanya Barazio can play down the line. Lane dropping too deep for that pass. Foul there on Gatorna. at the top of the broadcast. Up, you do have good memories of 
playing the Northern Tigers this season. If this result holds, that will continue. They beat them in the Sapphire Cup here at Leichhardt Oval. 2-1 back in September. Before that, it was a 2-0 win away at North Taramara Recreational Area. And that was the result that had them on three points ahead heading into the final game of the 2023 regular season as Pepino's offside. That win away <laughs> handed them the club championship and gave them one hand on the premiership, which they went on to claim. They also beat them 3-0 at Lambert Park. Rapia, things look to be going to plan right now as Tigers look to go the other way. Almost fell again for Lily McMahon. Lovely nutmeg on Tanya Barazio. Looks like she was trying to take that extra touch to create the space for the shot. More positive signs for the visitors. And as is so often the case in these types of games where one side concedes early. The game continues and things tend to become more even. Opportunity from a corner. We saw Magus make a good save just a moment ago. In comes the delivery. It's right on Magus and punched away out of the danger as Magus gets through the crowd and immediately looks up to Pepino who has open space ahead of her. Gisela Pepino. Beth Bernardi's in pursuit. Pepino able to get around her. Waits for support to arrive, and that's good defending at the back. By Middleton. Exactly what was needed on the counter. It was a dangerous one as well. And Zapia keep things moving. Here's Barazio. Lane. the beneficiary some nice hold up play foul eventually goes the way of the Tigers good work up the top by Nikola Dominikovic scored the Tigers first goal of the season back in spirit in the derby still looking for a second looks at the options ahead and floats it into the box. Header goes up from Dominikovic. And there's her second of the season. Coming at a good time for the Tigers as they halve the deficit at Leichhardt Oval. And that's exactly the response that Chris Wood would have wanted from his team. Just over 10 minutes from conceding that second goal. They bring it back to 2-1. Courtesy of their new New Zealand forward, Nikola Dominikovic. It's a good header as well. Enough power on it, enough height on it to evade Sophie Magus. It's a really open game here at Leichhardt Oval. Lane has come central. Regale. Pepino, not cleared eventually as Cross trying to turn, trying to shoot. Had good ideas in trying to find the bottom corner, but not enough power on it to really trouble Amy Hall. Spoke about Apia weathering the storm. Seating in the set pieces. Not exactly what would have been on the script for them this afternoon when they took that 2 0 lead. 
But again, it goes to show that the Tigers have avenues into this game. As Apia continue, a bit of confusion with the ball hitting the referee as Kiparazov floats at central and that's claimed amongst a bit of heat there by Amy Hall. Chris Wood is protesting with the assistant on the near side that even though Apia continued to keep possession after it touched the referee that the letter of the law states that it must be a drop ball. Nevertheless, Apia have possession. Here's Fregalo. Pino. Walker's made a diagonal run forward. Keeping things ticking over. Kaparazov. Might be a Tigers throw. And this might surprise Kaparazov as she comes across to collect the ball. And Alpi will be disappointed with that goal. They've done a relatively good job at limiting the chance the Tigers have had. It's mostly been half shots and relatively comfortable saves for Sophie Magus up until that point. Just goes to show the quality the Tigers have in attack. Pull those ones out from set pieces as Makunja. Bit more success down the wing. Cutting it back for Dominikovic. Still with the Tigers and Maybe a cut right might feel hard done by there. She was winding up for the shot. Her teammate Dominikovic got slid in late. That's good defending again there by Abby Middleton. She's had her hands full with Gisela Pepino, but he's certainly helping her out in that contest. Young, looking long, but that's right onto the chest of Lapuri. McMahon, in a physical battle with Barazio. McMahon is not pleased with that throwing call, to say the least. I'm not sure if our effects might pick that up, but even from this far grandstand commentary position. can be heard. Inside Leichhardt Oval. Tight ground. Everyone packed inside. Things can reverberate quite quickly. It's become Apia's new home in 2024 while man, the park gets those synthetic pitch upgrades. It certainly poses a different challenge for teams. Almost polar opposites in their nature. Lambert Park are Synthetic surface, tight grandstand, high clubhouse above the pitch. Fans basically a couple meters from the sideline. Compare that to the relatively vast expanses of Leichhardt Oval. along the sideline. Good one-touch football by Cross. And Imogen Lane was screaming for the ball on the far side. I'm not sure if Giselle Papino knew she was there. And that would have presented Lane with a similar opportunity to the one she had for a goal. Mukunja working with Bernardi and McMahon. Might be sandwiched between two up here defenders, but it's still in the possession of the Tigers. Pepino isn't in a hurry. Press is coming on Magus. It's 
good work by Dominikovic preventing Apia from switching out to the right side of the pitch. You can see McMahon stepping forward. So come down the left with Teal Kilbride. And that's defensive pressure paying off. Makunja. Turn in midfield. Makatamni searching for a bit of space. Finds Makunja trying to get onto her right foot. McMahon. The Tigers building a bit of pressure on Apia's defense. McMahon again. This time crosses. It's deflected. Bit of a bobble in the center of the park, and that's no nonsense from Teal Kilbride. Back post looking for Dominikovic as Sophie Magus rising through the sky. Claims that one safely with two hands. Crofts wins it in a key area. And Walker has spotted the runner for Pino, but again, there is Abby Middleton in a foot race to beat her. Superbly well. Tracking down these long cross field switches that Apia seem to be favouring. Makunja. Only has Dominikovic ahead of her. Decides to go around Teal Kilbride. And has the pace to beat her. That's good recovery by Kilbride. And a bit of shoulder to shoulder. But nothing illegal. Starting to ton turn on now at Leichhardt Oval. A bit overcast here in Sydney's inner west, but daylight saving switching over. A little bit darker that a little earlier. Before he sees that one over the sideline. Chance for Kaparazov to keep up here in possession. As Walker has spotted Charlotte Young as the outpass. The ball forward again. There's Abby Middleton. Tigers wanted to push in the back. They'll keep the ball. Kundra and Kaparazov involved in an entertaining battle. And that's really been the case for both wingers on this near side, whether it's Makundra against Kaparazov or Pepino against Middleton. Defender giving much either way. Pepino may be the slightly more successful of the two wingers, but there's not much in it. And for Apia, three points would make it two wins in a row and three wins in their last four if this result holds. And trying to sit in seventh on the ladder coming into today's game. Uh, Unfamiliar position for them compared to where they were last season. And they took the lead so early and kept it for basically the entirety of the season, despite hot pursuit from the MacArthur Rams. The Tigers win might mean a little bit more. In the tenth coming into this afternoon. Looking to get right up the table. Into those top four places and towards finals. Still very early to be thinking about these sorts of things, of course. 26 rounds in the season. We're only six rounds in, but it's these types of games when you look back later in the season at points dropped or points gained. Crops the sole striker up front. No one there except her to chase down those long balls forward. He 
apologies for Gale. Familiar pass to switch the play through Barazio. He's comfortable going forward on this wing. And offers some support to Lane. Walker. Good pass through the midfield and equally good turn by Chris Sidulu. As Walker spotted the darting run of Fragale. Makunja tracking back on Papino. And that's a physical battle that Makunja's won. Both going shoulder to shoulder. Kaparazov intercepts. Here come Apia. Fragale. Papino. Shut down by Bernardi. And cries of handball. And that's right on the edge of the area from Jesse Wapuri. So we called back for offside. Ashcroft's coming back from an offside position to interfere in play. And that might have saved Jesse Wapuri there and the Northern Tigers from having to defend a free kick on the edge of the 18-yard box. You can see where the ball is placed now. It's right on that line. Certainly difficult to get up and over the wall from that position, but nonetheless, prime real estate for a free kick. Here's Kilbride. Pepino. Northern Tigers defenders on her back. And just keep an eye on the positioning of Nikola Dominikovic at the top of this Northern Tigers attack. The way that she arcs her runs and pressing this up here back line to keep them down this left hand side. It's why they've not gone down the right all that much. Kilbride almost had a pocket picked by Amira Makunja. And eventually they get the foul time with the Tigers defense still tracking back up you can get out to the far side of the pitch Barazio gets around Gatorna Christodoulou Walker Midfield three of Walker, Christodoulou and Fragale really winning the battle in midfield for the time being. And it's a battle they need to keep winning if they're to prevent the Tigers from getting this all-important second goal. Joined us late, it was Arpi Leichhardt who rushed out to a 2-0 lead inside 10 minutes. Goals to Imogen Lane and Ashcroft's Tigers responded just 10 minutes later for the 20th minute mark with Amira Makunja's second goal of the season but since then the game has fallen in a bit more of a natural rhythm up there slightly on top in terms of possession but things could certainly go either way as we tick into the final eight minutes of the first half Tigers will certainly be Aware of the opportunity that this next 10 minutes or so presents. The potential of getting the all important equaliser heading into the sheds, getting more instructions from Chris Wood. And equally, Gol Carabia flips things completely. Here is Lane. Again, we've seen that on a number of occasions from either Lane or Pepino on their counter attack, bursting forward, opting to play a bit more safe and work things around the back before progressing further forward and just wait for those numbers to get higher up the pitch. Walker. Nice first touch to evade. The pressure from Beth Bernardi. Those two were a midfield duo for the Tigers last season. McMahon. Touch invites Mona Walker to collect it. Cross. Bouncing it to Christodoulou. And now, here is Pepino. One on one with Middleton. Christodoulou has spotted the green pastures that are available to Imogen Lane. Who tries. And it's off target as Amy Hall is able to see that out for a goal kick.
Cincinnati. Chance for the overlapping Middleton. Keach. Pinpoint crossfield switch to Elgatorna. Keach again. Does well under pressure of Mona Walker. Wapuri goes long this time. Young is equal to it, but doesn't get away from danger just yet. Magus, any where will do for her. Now into the final five minutes here at Leichhardt Oval. So we might just take this moment to venture around the grounds across various other MPL women's matches taking place this afternoon on for New South Wales YouTube channel. Bulls Academy and Gladysville Ravens has just kicked off. That one's at nil-nil. No early goals there for the time being. Of course, still to come. The emerging Jets, MacArthur Rams. That one's kicking off the second half of this game as is Illawarra Stingrays UNSW and Blacktown and Uni Kaparazov Pepino that's great football by Arpia one touch all the way through to Christodoulou who looks to feed cross through can she get around Amy Hall and this time Hall beats her to it and that's exactly the type of football you want to see if you're Brad Atard and an RPLI Cup fan. One touch around the back, playing through Ashcrofts and superb positional awareness, it must be said, by Amy Hall. She was nice and high up, uh, out of her box and off her line. Took a big risk coming out from that range, but had she not come out, Ashcrofts would have been bearing down one-on-one -on -one anyway. Pepino leaves it behind momentarily. Makunja looking ahead for McMahon as you can see that front three rotation of the Northern Tigers McMahon who was previously on the left wing to start the game has now come to the number nine spot Dominikovic shifting out to the left wing Barazio Lane again Christodoulou trying to play the triangles this time the Tigers are wiser to it Keach goes back to Hall. Tigers have to move the up your defense from side to side. Let the clock tick over towards half time. Certainly would be content with a 2 1 win. So, 2 1 win at the half, rather. Still another 45 to go, but Tigers might get another opportunity from a deep set piece. We saw them score from one. This will certainly test the range of Jesse Wapuri. Both sides have their own reasons to be dissatisfied with the scoreline. Puri puts it in again. This time Apia win the first header, but don't win the second. And it's almost bundled in. Good header. In on goal by Olivia Cartwright. No goals to an aim this season. Almost got the equaliser. And again, it's those deep set pieces that pose threats for Apia. And might prove to be a fruitful avenue to goal as the afternoon continues for the Northern Tigers. Opportunity now as Makatamni in swinging right foot a corner to come. Numbers 
is around the six-yard area for the Tigers. In it comes. And Young was the player that rose highest and gets a good clearance away. And this might create a bit of a counter-attack here for Arpia if they want it. And as Wapuri is a bit too strong in the back of Angelique Christodoulou. Speaking on the scoreline and how both sides might feel about it, Arpia might be a bit frustrated in the manner in which they conceded and the way they've let the Tigers back into the game despite their really strong start. On the other end, the Tigers will feel like had it not been for that strong start, that might have caught them off guard, that they might be 1-0 up right now. Either way, with just one goal in it into the second half. This game... Certainly has at least one or two goals left in it. Both sides getting chances. We saw Ashcroft get a golden one-on-one -on -one against Amy Hall just a moment ago. We saw that header for the Northern Tigers from Olivia Cartwright as Gisela Pepino is caught by the offside trap. At the discretion of the referees now as we tick down towards halftime. And that'll be the end of that for the first 45 from Leichhardt over. It's Apia who have the 2-1 lead. Goals to Imogen Lane and Ash Crofts, but the Tigers are well and truly in this one, courtesy of Nikola Dominikovic's header. It's been more Constantinidis on commentary for you from Leichhardt over in the first 45. We'll see you back soon for the second half.
Welcome back to the second half here at Leichhardt Oval. It's Apia who have the advantage right here on their home turf. 2-1 up at the break courtesy of Ashcroft's and Imogen Lane. But the Tigers, they're still hanging around in this one. Nikola Dominikovic's goal, the header. Has them at 2-1 heading into the final chapter of this game. Keeping on any changes to the two teams. They both look unchanged as they come out the second half. We'll quickly run you through both benches in case changes do arise. On the bench for Apia first, number nine is Brindley Gentle who started the first three games of the season. She has goals in her as well if they need them. Still looking for her first of the season but scored plenty for the emerging Jets last season and Imogen Lane's already got her first for the club. She might back herself to come on and do the same. Also on the bench is Mia Golding, Sophia Constantinidis, Liana Calabro, Zoe Panagopoulos and the backup goalkeeper is M. Vidakovic. As to the Northern Tigers, we spoke about them at the top of the broadcast. The Australian schoolgirls, Saffron Grass and Jody Drever, return after missing the last couple of weeks. Their minutes might be managed a little bit, you'd have to think, after spending time away in that tournament. Also on the bench is Phoebe Hancock, Phoebe Riley, Blake Hughes and Isla Witham. Here's Walker. Ran into Beth Bernardi and the rest of the Tigers midfield, but Apia still have possession. Be remiss of me not to mention Mona Walker this season has two goals to her name already. Player that scored just the one goal for the Northern Tigers all of last season and in her five games at Apia has two to her name. Scored her first of the season right here. It was a header against Sydney Olympic that did the damage. And look at the start Olympic have had to the season. That 3-0 win and clean sheet looks like a very strong result for Apia. Now, though, they'll have to worry about the Tigers coming the other way. Here's Makunja. Drops it for Dominikovic, who puts it into the box. And that's strong defending by Charlotte Young at the back. Bouncing ball. Cross goes up for it. Comes down with Middleton, and here's Wapuri. Katorna. Skews the pass into the midfield, but it's only still with the Tigers. Stadulu trying to beat Wapuri to it and this time Wapuri goes for distance. Can't work at the back by Charlotte Young. She'll probably be the first time she's not the quickest player on the pitch, Charlotte Young, but all that composure and experience she has at the back serving up here well for the time being. Walker has stayed on side. Fragale I have a switch out available to Imogen Lane if they can find her. Fragale on the turn. Looks to feed through Lane now, but it's just half a step behind where Lane wanted it. That's industrious work in midfield by Fragale. Tigers combine up top. Makunja looking to burst through. And again, Arpiera. Constantly shutting down these passes. Intensity rising at Leichhardt Oval. Makatamni intended for Dominikovic and Young gets in the way of any pressure. Keach goes out to Middleton and Good work by Hall at the back, and Tigers have played their way out of a bit of trouble here. And this is the type of play we saw from up here in the first half, this quick, short passing around the back line and trying to move between the lines. Pino tries to turn the corner, is dragged down by Wapuri. And up here in a bit of a hurry to get this one going again. Young will 
will take this one instead. Chris Adulu decides to leave it for her. Capino putting it towards Crofts. It might have taken a touch on the way through there from Keach. And I think Abby Middleton was aware of that and decides to concede the throw-in instead. doing on that cross from Lane and instead it's the Tigers who can benefit from a bit of space down the wing. Makatamni tries to keep it in. Both sides want it, the Tigers will get it. Strong defending by Tanya Barazio just to shield the ball out of play. Barazio, who was a big part of Apia's season last year, on route to that premiership and Sapphire Cup win. Came across from the Spartans, a good right back to have in your squad. Player that won many Team of the Week accolades, Team of the Months as well, and no doubt has been kept busy by the Tigers captain Lily McMahon this afternoon. Teal Kilbride. Sifted by Kiparas of Makunja was looking to race away down the sideline. Had that one got through. Breaks down for the Tigers and up here sitting a bit deep right now. You can see Ashcroft is quite isolated at the top of this RPL Leichhardt attack. Even when they do get forward, there's not much in the way of support. And that's how things can be on this Leichhardt oval pitch. When the game gets stretched, an open hole starts to appear everywhere. It's a good save by Magus. Amira Makunja tested her all the way. And she had to be alert and tipped it over the bar with confidence. And Amira Makunja, who had plenty of touches in the first half, is looking to... Continue imposing herself in this game in the second 45. <laughs> Makatamini will have to wait for this ball to come back across to her. She had plenty of dangerous deliveries in the first half, mostly from the left side of the pitch where she can use that in swinging right footed delivery. Maybe something a bit lower and flatter this time. Comes the ball from Makatamni. Not dealt with by Apia. Keach wound up the shot, but central defender swinging that one well over the crossbar is. We'll have to wait for another ball again. And Sophie Magus is waiting for where that next ball is going to come from. I don't think Apia in any particular rush to get this one back even though they are in the lead and might not be time for a bit of time wasting just yet it certainly doesn't help to try and slow the momentum down of the team that's chasing the lead Chris Adulu Stretches back for Young and Lane's come down with the second ball Using Christodoulou. One by Elegatorna. Young is strong in the challenge, but Tigers continue to race forward. Strong defending by Fregale. And she's gone down west away here, Estelle Fregale. And this might cause a bit of stress on the Apia bench. Your main central midfielder down. Fregale certainly known for a motor and a stamina 
really to keep things moving in midfield. And thankfully she's up and running again. Kyla's Estelle Fagale, who has spent the summer with the Western Sydney Wanderers as a train-on player. I spoke to Brad Attard earlier in the season about players he might think will receive an A-League women's call-up in the near future. He listed Estelle Fragale as one of them. Bit of confusion and sorting out to do over who gets this restart as the sun begins to set behind us in the main grandstand here at Leichhardt Oval. Barazio was just a bit unsure as to whether or not they were playing on. All that confusion's cleared up. The Tigers have it on their feet now. Young has to be quick. Magus, who was deflected down by McMahon. Again, a nervy moment at the back for Apia. Trying to avoid these sorts of moments. The Tigers chasing the game. The longer the game goes on, Kunja looking to ghost back post behind Kaparazov, who marshals her well. And Walker can turn and head the other way. Pepino. Again, we spoke about it in the first half. Apia wingers not in a hurry to get forward and proceed down the wing without any support. They're happy to Wait for their team and slow play down a little bit if it means getting a bit more support. Makatamni trying to turn in the box. Dominikovic gets the shot away. Pushed away from danger by Magus. Here's McMahon. Body faints left and right. Ball's top of the box. To Olivia Cartwright, who was dispossessed. And now up here. Ashcroft is in a one-on-one -on -one with Keach. Gets around her. Only has Hall to beat. And this time Hall comes out on top again. And Cross already put one past her in the first half and almost had another. The end of the first 45. This time, there's a bit of pressure from Isabella Keach. Ashcroft's unable to beat Amy Hall on this occasion. That might give Arpi a bit of confidence as they try and find their groove and try and find this third goal that puts a bit of touching distance between them and the Northern Tigers. Combative work in midfield by both teams. Shoulders flying in everywhere. McMahon can't get around Barazio. Young has to be quick and coughs it up to Makatamni, who tries. Rising again, and Sophie Magus didn't look too worried. But the signs are certainly there for the Northern Tigers. More shots on goal, more opportunities in the attacking half. As Brad Attard has sensed the winds are changing around Leichhardt Oval and has gone to his bench in search of a way to shift the momentum of this game. Brindley Gentle and Mia Golding coming on. Imogen Lane and Caitlin Kaparazov coming off. And to be a relatively like for like change. Golding will head over to left back with Caitlin Kaparazov vacating that position. Or rather, Barazia will go to left back. Golding will go to right back. Gentle slots into the front three in place of Image and Lane. And it looks like Gentle might have gone to the top of the front three as the number nine with Ash Crofts heading out to the right wing. Gentle wasting no time getting involved and immediately is swamped by Northern Tigers players. As mentioned, Brinley Gentle looking for that first RP Leichhardt goal to open her account for 2024. A player that was right up there in the Golden Boot Race last season for the Emerging Jets. Scored 13 goals in 25 appearances for them. A very handy return for the team that finished at the bottom of the first grade ladder.
Oh, here we do. Plenty of confidence for the young striker. Play here. I think Amira Makunja is just receiving a bit of treatment. She's worked hard, Amira Makunja. And a lot to contend with with Japarazov on that same wing, who's now been given an early rest as well. And this might prompt the first change of the game for Chris Wood and the Northern Tigers. Substitutes for the Tigers are just called back from the warm up area. We'll keep an eye on if anyone's warming up as Makunja's receiving extended treatment and it doesn't look like a sub's coming in the short term. So for the time being, the Northern Tigers will have to see this one out with 10 players. Might present up here like with a bit of an opening, a rare opening in the second half, aside from Ashcroft's one on one opportunity just a moment ago. Tigers will just try and consolidate until that substitute comes. It looks like Phoebe Hancock is the one receiving instructions. Kilbride has a bit of time on the ball now. Here's Estelle Fragala who looks to have shaken off that knock. Cross, looking for Gentle. And Gentle gets there. He's pushed over, and that's good work from the substitute. Making herself known to the back four and gets one of the centre backs in a yellow card. Might be Isabella Keach who's going to the referee's book for the first time this afternoon. And now here comes that substitute, I think, for the Northern Tigers. And Angelique Christodoulou has immediately claimed possession of this free kick. Well, before in the wall for Amy Hall, goalkeeper who was awarded Team of the Week honours last week. Just now that substitute comes through. So Amira Makunja is off and on comes Phoebe Hancock for the first substitution for the Northern Tigers. Meanwhile, Amy Hall is getting this wall just right. Looking to deny Angelique Christodoulou her first goal in Apia Colours. That's five in it. Wanting to be absolutely sure. Intention Senni looks to shoot. Christodoulou goes over the wall and over the crossbar. And it was always rising for the Appian midfielder. This is a call from Brad Attard on the Apia bench. Bernardi. Safety first from Amy Hall. No handball, says the referee, and the Tigers continue the attack. Hancock getting involved early. Fresh legs of Hancock against Barazio. Gentle. Good hold up play to switch it out to Cross if it gets there. Cross wins the 50 50 and Arpia stay with it. Walker looking over the top for Pepino. Another battle with Middleton. This time Middleton wins again. Still with Arpia. Tired pass from Angelique Christodoulou as things are becoming a bit frantic now around Leichhardt Oval. Attack swaying back and forth. Next goal crucial for both sides. It could be the equaliser or it may well prove to be the winner. Golding. Good touches from the young fullback as she continues down this wing. Walker looking for Gentle. Gentle can turn and shoot. Tries to make it work in traffic, but just not a lot of room in the box there for the young striker. And that's the value that Brindley Gentle brings to this Apia team. She is a more than capable finisher as we saw with the emerging Jets last season, but it's 
her hold up play that is so impressive for a striker of her age. Able to really seal out defenders. Lovely skill by Makatamni. Sent both Afia defenders the wrong way. And there's Teal Kilbride who had the pass scouted. The atmosphere just picking up a little bit around Leichhardt Oval. And that offside flag comes to the aid of Arpia and to the disappointment of the Tigers. And so 25 minutes of regular time remaining. Two substitutions made by Brad Attard and Arpia. Just the one for the Chris Wood and Northern Tigers. I see just a slight change in this Arpia midfield with Mona Walker really pushing far forward. Here she is pressing Jesse Wapuri. Starting to resemble a bit of a front two for Arpia now. The versatility of Mona Walker on full display. While she's playing as a midfielder today, she's comfortable playing at the back as well. That's where she played when she was the emerging Jets prior to joining the Northern Tigers and having a stint in the A-League women's with the Wellington Phoenix. Young. Found that ball over the top to Giselle Papino again. Middleton reads it, and that seems to be a familiar pattern of play that we've seen all afternoon. Go Tigers, let's go. The long ball out wide to Giselle Papino, and Abby Middleton there to cover it and see it over the sideline. Papino can't get past Beth Bernardi. Dominikovic. This is better from the Tigers. They have numbers. An errant touch stops the attack momentarily for Olivia Cartwright and the offside flag again helping out Arpia there. Gale is forced backwards and raises her arms in frustration of the players ahead of her. Ella Katorna had to be careful and was playing with a bit of fire at the back. Scuff clearance from Isabella Keach finds the feet of the Tigers and things just becoming slightly chaotic around Leichhardt Oval. Teams not keeping possession for as long as they were before. Teams looking for a bit more space. And there's plenty of it. We mentioned it in the first half how here at Leichhardt over on this bigger pitch that the game can be stretched quite quickly. As here comes a substitution, the returning Saffron Grass. Makes way for Ella Gatorna. As mentioned, Saffron Grass, one of two Northern Tigers players over at the Australian School Girls midweek. She's got 20 minutes to make an impact here for the Tigers. Christodoulou. Good use of the body by Fragale. And Grass immediately cops one straight on the chest and keeps the attack alive. Makatamni. Curving delivery through the RPA defence and there is Estelle Fragale again. Confusion in midfield by the Tigers, and that's not what you want to see. And there's a late challenge by Saffron Grass on Angeli Christodoulou. Gives both teams a bit of a break to collect themselves and reset structurally.
one cuts out that cross. It was coming from Phoebe Hancock, who, or rather, there was Hancock going in on the challenge. It was Olivia Cartwright out wide. Walker able to get around Bernardi and has Tanya Barazio making a long busting overlapping run on that far side. Barazio. Reshapes for the cross, looking for cross. And a bit too much power on the cross, but wasn't too far away from finding one of today's goal scorers at the back post. Final 20 minutes now here from Leichhardt Oval. for distance and she gets plenty of it passes loose from Charlotte Young and Tigers have numbers forward here if they can capitalize comes out to Jade McAtamney in a foot race with Golding and that's the fresh legs of the young former Institute fullback coming to her aid there and Estelle Fregale another former Institute player helping her out We'll be wary of the Tigers. Lovely turn from Mona Walker and the vision to spot the pass. This is Apia defense tires. These gaps might start to open a bit more for the Northern Tigers attackers, especially the fresh legs of Phoebe Hancock and Saffron Grass in midfield as well. She decides to venture further forward. by Beth Bernardi. Strong work by Christadul and that'll be an up your throw. Brimley Gentle has a bit of work to do to get around Jesse Wapuri. Both not taking a backward step, and it's the substitute gentle who concedes the foul. Wafuri. Well, go long on this free kick. Great touch. By Cartwright in midfield, but Jen Apia. Able to counter, Walker has Gentle ahead of her. Brindley Gentle looking for Crofts. Might still fall for Pepino. Isabella Keach, safety first there. I'm not sure if she knew initially that Gisela Pepino was sniffing in at the back post. More positive hold up play there by Brindley Gentle. Certainly has a number of options to look to when she has her back to goal. The likes of Ash Crofts, Gisela Pepino. Mona Walker, who's been playing a more advanced role in the second half. Chris Sadulu on corner duties with Lane on the bench. Apia looking for that important third goal. In it comes. Up went Teal, Kilbride looking to score against their former club. Regale moves it wide to Chris Sadulu. Cannons off the back of Makatamni. Still be an Apia throw. Golding. Waits for something to present itself, and it does in the form of Brindley Gentle. Ball drops dead for Beth Bernardi. Dominikovic reaching away to keep it in play. Golding down the line again. 
Clear advance further up the pitch. And this will suit them. Time ticking away, and that's valuable seconds for this Northern Tigers side looking for any hopes of a comeback. Fino is fouled, and again, Arpia advance, and Arpia are able to take more time off the clock. Stulu. Numbers crowding back post for the hosts. In it comes. Has height on it, but not enough. Walker tries on goal. Again, might have been on a less favoured foot as it skewed wide of Amy Hall. Tigers in a hurry to get things going. Wapuri. Makatamni. Is under her control. One by Mona Walker, but over the sideline it goes. Tigers throw. So Tigers preparing another change. Fragale clears it away from midfield, but Pepino had tucked in. Said Abby Middleton. Charges around her. Still the fullback. Combining with Phoebe Hancock. Bernardi. Pack breaks down for Tigers. Another wave coming though. They do well to win it back quickly. And as this game goes on, Arpia will be... Perhaps a bit cautious of sitting too far back and protecting what they have and continuing to expose themselves to these onslaughts of Northern Tigers attacks. The state of the game in these sorts of situations naturally dictates that whoever's in the lead, and if it's only by one goal, they're willing to forego attacks to preserve their own defence. Again, that might pose potential avenue to goal for the Northern Tigers. Dominikovic wins the corner. Already one goal from set pieces for Northern Tigers, can they get another one? A vital equaliser. And it still gives them time to go on and get a winner as well. 12 minutes or so remaining of regulation. Chris Woods preparing another substitute in the background as well. Blake Hughes going through some final warm ups. Look at all the Tigers players just sitting around that back post area. Just Jade McAtamney tasked with. Whipping this one in. It's a good delivery as well. Right on Magus. And she does well under pressure to punch it away. A sea of bodies going down. Someone's down in back play here as well. I think it might be Charlotte Young, the Arpia captain who... It's come off worse for where they were bodies everywhere on that goal line just looking at the replay back on the stream now it was Sophie Magus reaching back at full stretch amongst a sea of players both Tigers and Arpia and I think amongst all the bodies Charlotte Young was the recipient of multiple Northern Tigers players charging through throwing absolutely everything at trying to get this equaliser certainly no malice intended by it it's just two teams that are Going all out to get the three points at this stage of the season. Sophie Magus also down on her haunches as well, but she looks to be relatively okay. As Liana Calabro and Zoe Panagopoulos are going through a bit of a warm up. 
Brad Attard told them to go and do so straight after Charlotte Young went down. And Young has gone back up here. She seems to be jogging and looks to be all right. And this will be welcome news for Apia. Having their captain back out on the pitch. No substitution needed for the time being, but Charlotte Young certainly does not look 100% out there. It's a true captain's knock. All hands to the pump for up here as they try and defend here. Hancock racing past Tanya Barazio. Brad Attard pushing his side on in these final 10 minutes. Just the one goal in it. They haven't had a goal since the opening 20 minutes. Very cagey second half here from Leichhardt Oval. Will we be set up for a grandstand finish? Another goal for Arpia would surely win it from here. Considering the scarcity of chances on offer. It might be hard for the Tigers to go and score two and salvage a draw as Young is caught napping in possession. Gentle, holding it up well. That's exactly what you want. Pepino has crossed back post, looking to thread the needle to her. Ambitious pass. Still there with Brindley Gentle. Gets Cross into a bit of space out on the wing. And Zash Cross assesses her options. Looks for Walker. Back out to Pepino. Walker again. Can she score against her former side? Straight down the throat of Amy Hall. Fragale. It's been ever present in this RPM midfield as here goes Brindley Gentle. A chance to get behind the Tigers' defense. Thought she was dragged down, but there were hands going either way between her and Keach. Attack swaying back and forth here at Leichhardt Oval. Regale goes in late and might count herself a bit lucky to escape a yellow card here. And again, a chance for both sides to collect themselves, really. It all opening up here at Leichhardt Oval. Headed on. Falls for the Tigers. And there's the equaliser they've been looking for. It's been a long time coming. And a slight hint of offside that's going to be investigated here. Looked like it was Olivia Cartwright who got the final touch at the back post. Sliding through. Not picked up by the Apia defenders, and it will be a goal for the Tigers. And Olivia Cartwright gets her first of the season, and what a time to get it. With just seven minutes remaining, they trailed 2-0 after 10 minutes, the Northern Tigers. And after continued waves of attack on the Apia goal, it's finally breached in the second half. And now we have a big finish set up. Two goals apiece, heading into the final seven minutes. Cartwright, she's looked dangerous through this Northern Tigers midfield as Pepino looking to quickly get one back for Arpia. Things really getting frantic now. I might just try and take a look back at the replay and see what the controversy was about. Whether it was a hint of offside or handball. And as the ball comes in, I think it might have been handball as Cartwright was certainly not in an offside position, but no question that is a valid goal for the visitors as they have to defend this corner, and that's what all done by Amy Hall in goal. Just 
Going back to the replay again. Certainly came off the chest of the Tigers. No question, Olivia Cartwright getting that equaliser. And now the game swings. The Tigers, all the momentum. Ball in the box. Dominikovic goes up. And that was almost her second goal of the game. Again, another header by Nikola Dominikovic. Had plenty of power behind it this time. Tigers trying to put Arpia on the ropes. As Leona Calabro is being prepared by Brad Attard. Barazio sends it back down the line. Pepino is able to keep it in and contrast to just 10 minutes ago it's the Northern Tigers who have the extra spring in their step looking for their first back-to-back -back win of the season Dominikovic drops it short again and Cartwright had eyes on a second goal of Hancock. The Tigers continue to press forward. If you have to pick a side right now that's more likely to go on and win this, it would be the visitors. And an attempt to turn the tides of this game. Zoe Panagopoulos comes on in place of Teal Kilbride. And Panagopoulos, a substitute, young midfielder with plenty of promise for Arpia. She's scored her first first grade goal last week against Football New South Wales Institute. And would bring the house down if she got her second right now. Gentle. Has eyes for Pepino. It's cut out. Amy Hall doesn't take any chances with the potential back pass as Blake Hughes touches it around the corner. And Mona Walker trying to beat her to get there and that's Hughes who wins that battle and wins the foul in the process. They're looking to avoid their second home defeat in their three games at Leichhardt Oval this season. Tigers on the contrast looking for their first away win. Panagopoulos brings it down. And there is Tanya Barazio. Bursting forward late in the game. Still Tanya Barazio. Floats it into the box for Pepino. Couldn't direct it goalwards. couple of minutes of regulation time. The Tigers bursting forward once more. Golding does well to intercept. Walker is chopped down by Saffron Grass. Again, we spoke about it at the top of the broadcast for Arpia Leichhardt, who have hopes of challenging for silverware this season. The draw here today would be more drop points leave them with just two wins in their opening six games. Fregale rides a couple of challenges and finds Ash Cross, who certainly can be a difference maker. Cross beats one, cuts it back. Here's Fregale. Great save by Amy Hall. Brilliant cutback by Ash Crofts and it fell to Fregale's feet. It's still with Pepino. 
and the substitute Blake Hughes is there to block. Last ditch defending by the Northern Tigers, throwing absolutely everything at defending their goal. Ashcroft did the hard work. Estelle Fragale bursts forward after her run through midfield. And a full stretch save from Amy Hall to deny her and deny Arpia a possible winner. Christodoulou crosses in. Young goes up. Not away just yet. Here's Panagopoulos. Collected Pepino, I think, on the way through. Stoppage time now from Leichhardt Oval. It's a game that's crying out for a big moment. Someone to step up and be the winner. We've seen Olivia Cartwright get the important equaliser for the Tigers, which could prove to be a big point. Here's Panagopoulos, the substitute. Low driven cross. Barazio heads it back into midfield, and that's where Pepino's able to collect it. Touch was heavy, and that invited Saffron Grass forward. Now it's the Tigers' turn to defend and sustain a bit of pressure. Cross looks for Gentle. Grass again. In goes Young. The Tigers can build a counter here. They have numbers. McMahon able to take Golding one-on-one. -on -one. McMahon gets around one. Still Lily McMahon. Shot blocked away by Christodoulou. Keach wins the first ball but gets beaten at the second attempt by Gisela Pepino. Here's Panagopoulos. Uses Brindley Gentle ahead of her but there's not much way in the support. Out on the wing, Hughes clears for safety and that'll be an RPA throw. Not much time left at the discretion of the referees now and this might be the last opportunity either side gets to Try and get a winner. Gentle. Looks for Cross. This is where she's good. Ash Cross. One on one. Well held by Amy Hall. It had plenty of power on it. And the Tigers keeper has had an exceptional second half. A couple of huge saves to stop Arpia from extending their two goals out to three. Headed back by Barazio. Here's Walker. Wins the second ball. Panagopoulos has numbers left and right. Goes towards the right with Gentle. Here is Fragale who has time in midfield now. Looking for the floating ball back post. Here's Mona Walker. Not enough power on the head of the trouble. Amy Hall. Who looks unbeatable in this second half. Well brought down by Dominikovic. Young looking over the top. Brindley Gentle in a chance to make her name off the bench. Amy Hall tried to save the corner but didn't. And now it's all hands forward. Everyone getting forward for Apio. Everyone getting back for the Tigers. Golding and... Gala, the only one's back. As the ball comes in, it's back here for Walker, who lashes at it. Couldn't make a meaningful connection. Barazio does well to track it down and keep the attack moving for Arpia. Fragale signals for the cross. Is dispossessed. And Cartwright could take it the other way. Has her head up on the switch and has spotted Jane McAtamney out on the wing. Plenty of space there for the Tigers. Looks to switch it back again. Magus had to be calm off her line. In a nervy moment for her defence. Cartwright goes from range. And that wasn't troubling Magus anytime soon. And she quickly moves it forward. Cross. And if that was the beginning of the game, I think Mona Walker would have had the legs to keep moving there. But such has been the openness of this game that both teams really out on their feet now. Here's Young. Putting it back into midfield. Golding. Not much time remaining for either side. 
This might be it for, e for either of them. Apia trying to make something meaningful of this attack. Keach sends it forward. Chris Adulu going for distance once more. It comes down with Gentle, but I don't, I don't think she knew too much about it. Young asking for support from her keeper. And that's where she goes, but it might put her under a bit of pressure. Dominikovic has taken it around Magus. Has the open goal to aim for. Here's Hancock. And the pass just getting away from her. You can't look away, but it'll have to end in a draw. An inner stalemate from Leichhardt Oval. Two goals to Apia, courtesy of Imogen Lane and Ash Cross. The Tigers completed the comeback to get a valuable point thanks to Nikola Dominikovic and Olivia Cartwright, who got the equaliser after the 80th minute. And everyone takes a collective sigh in what was a breathless final five minutes in Sydney's inner west. It's been Will Constantinidis on commentary for you. An entertaining finish. Both teams share the points. We hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday afternoon on MPL TV. A reminder, there's plenty of MPL women's and MPL men's action for you to choose through on the Football New South Wales YouTube channel. That's a goodbye for now. We hope you enjoy the rest of your afternoon.